Well, welcome to class. This is Byte 4100 Virtual Environments. Um, my name is Elizabeth Hodge and I'll be your professor this semester. I'd like to give you a quick overview of the Blackboard course environment followed by a little um, test uh, or taste of Second Life. So to begin with, on the left hand side you can see the control uh, panel with the menu uh, for selecting the different items within the Blackboard course. To start off with the announcements, you can see the announcements here that I sent out to you. Um, and then you go into course information where it says start here. The course syllabi, the course calendar, and then information about the position paper and debate is all located in this area. With the course calendar, certainly read through all of the material. However, what I have found that students are interested in most is the information on terms of the course breakdown. So you have three participations and one final debate session. You have three article analysis that you have to complete. You have your discussion board posts, your debate, uh, which is a team debate, and then your position paper, all which will make up the 100% um, of your grade. What's of most important is that you access the course calendar. The course calendar outlines each module, uh, the time period in which the module runs, um, along with the assignments that are required for completion during that time frame. If there is an assignment that needs to be completed and turned in before the module time period is completed, you'll see it noted here um, on the right hand panel. So you can see that our first uh, Second Life session is on January 16th. You can either attend the 10 a.m. or the 7 p.m. But by all means, go through the course calendar, take note of the Second Life class sessions, make sure that you mark them on your calendar to participate, um, along with all of the other assignments that will be due. Once you've completed the material and the course information, you can go on to Module 1. Each module is designed in a similar fashion. It always begins with the module material so that when you click on this link where it says start here, this will open up in a new window. These are a series of materials that are provided that give you information about uh, the virtual environment. Um, and so it is streamlined and consecutive so you will click through each one of them. Embedded within that are um, documents to read, PDF documents, videos to watch, quiz questions to answer, um, along with information on different assignments. And then within Blackboard you'll also see that you sign into class, you have your first assignment, um, as well as some additional information. So just to give you an idea of what the module looks like when it opens up in a new window, it starts out with the objectives and outcomes. And again, you can see here I'm clicking on the arrow in the upper right hand corner to move on to the next. Now when something's embedded within the module, you click within it to access the information. And then you click on next. And here's your first quiz question. Read the directions, answer the question, and click submit. It'll give you immediate feedback. Click OK and then you move on to the next one. So again, this is how the modules run. Um, you'll want to make sure that you complete the entire module from start to finish. Um, you are able to take, uh, complete the module to improve your quiz grade as many times as you want. Each of the module materials, um, again, designed in the same fashion. So when you go into module two, again, you'll complete the material. Um, complete the assignments, and then you move on to Module 3. 